Ikaw ba ay OFW at excited ka na umuwi ng Pilipinas at Philippine Airlines ang iyong sasakyan pa uwi sa ating bansa. So please watch this video to know the travel guidelines from PAL Effective February 1, 2021. This is Global Trainer Jamie Iris and welcome to my channel. Please click subscribe if this is your first time to watch my video and click the notification bell so that you'll get updated with videos about travel guidelines. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Are you an OFW? Ikaw ba isang OFW at excited ka na umuwi sa Pilipinas? Ano ba ang kailangan mong i-consider ngayong uuwi ka sa Pilipinas from February 1 onwards? At ang iyong sasakyang air airlines ay Philippine Airlines. Yan, or PAL. So, ito po yung mga guidelines from PAL uh, sa mga OFWs natin. So, tingnan lang po natin ang mga gabay nila kung ikaw ay uuwi sa Pilipinas ngayong February. So, let us just take a look. So, uh, when we talk about OFW po, this is any person, of course, who's living and working in another country, typically on a temporary basis. Ito po yung definition ng Philippine Airlines. Now, uh, this includes po yung land-based OFWs at mga seafarers and sea-based OFW families traveling together with at least an o one OFW will be considered OFW. So, yung mga kapamilya, uh, puso ng mga, uh, kumbaga po, uh, blood-related immediate families uh, will be traveling with the OFW. OFWs, yan po, uh, they are also considered OFW. So, yung mga forms, you have to complete before you go home. Uh, make sure yung loved ones din po ninyo who will be traveling with you, okay, uh, on the same flight will also complete uh, those forms. If they will not travel with you and they will travel on their own, so hindi po sila considered as OFW, magiging non-OFWs po sila. I hope that's clear po. Yan. Now, uh, let me just read some guidelines from uh, PAL or Philippine Airlines. Sabi po nila dito, in compliance with the Philippine regulations, the in or IATF, uh, they had revised the arrival and quarantine protocols for passengers arriving in the Philippines. So, at the Puyon, eligible travelers are required to undergo a facility-based quarantine while waiting for the RT-PCR test administered on the sixth day. Now, day one starts at the day of the passenger's arrival. So, ito po yun, uh, starting February 1, ang um, bago po natin protocol, like what you have watched from my video. So, susundin po naman yun then uh, any all passengers. So, uh, kapag titin niyo po dito sa Pilipinas ngayong February 1 onwards, so, uh, kailangan po kayong ma-swab test. So, diretso po muna kayo sa inyong quarantine hotel na sagot po ng OWA. And then, after that, uh, you will be uh, scheduled for swab testing. Nasagot din po ito ng OWA sa inyong mga assigned quarantine hotel. So, sabi nila after 5 days, but that is equivalent to day 6 po. Kasi ang counting nila is that sisimula siya 24 hours na nandito na kayo sa Pilipinas. So, yung day 1 pa lang, papatak siya nung day 2 na nandito na kayo sa Pilipinas. So, bali day 6 siya, kayo masa swab test. So, estimated uh, like 24 to 48 hours bago yung result again. So, Ano ang kailangan yung gawin before you fly and during your check-in? Now, ang advice ng PAL is as early as 3 days prior to your departure, register and accomplish the ECIF form and save the confirmation email and QR code. So, uh, kung may nakikinig dito na hindi pa lang inyong flight, so pa para po sa mga PAL passengers, merong sariling uh, electronic case investigation form ang PAL. So, ito po ay matatagpuan dito sa website na ito. Uh, for land-based OFWs, ito po yung link. And then, uh, for sea-based OFWs, ito naman po yung link. Now, uh, kapag kayo ay passengers from other airlines, ang kailangan nyo i-complete ay hindi ang PAL uh, ECIF, kundi ang Philippine Red Cross ECIF. So, mostly, ang alam ko lang naman, PAL lang ang may sariling ECIF, but just double check din sa inyong airlines if they do have their own. But bihira ako makarinig na may sarili silang ECIF. So most of the time, ang pinapakafill up ng ibang airlines is Red Cross ECIF. So yun. I-complete again before you fly. So number one is ECIF. Number two, for land-based OFWs, you must create and update your account on the OFW Assistance Information System or OASIS for uh, what we call 
uh, everyone. So, land-based, sea-based, kailangan nyo po itong i-complete. So, https oasis.owa.gov.ph On the description box below, kagagawa ko lang po yesterday ng latest, uh, yung 2021 January 31 Oasis form. So, how to complete o paano ba mag-register? Meron po akong step-by-step -step process na video na ginawa para sa inyo. So, please just take a look. So, yun po yung number 2 nila. Make sure that you complete the OASIS form. This is just to capture your data para po, of course, from para sa polo o what dole. Yan. Number 3, just make sure po na upon check-in, sign the declaration and waiver form presented by the check-in agent uh, indicating that you are healthy and fit to travel. So, ma, uh, kung baga makukuha nyo na po itong form na ito sa airport na po uh, bago kayo lumipad sa Pilipinas. So that is before the flight. Now during the flight, number four is you have to accomplish the health declaration form uh, from Bureau of Customs uh, and the same time yung arrival card that you gave sa inyo sa aircraft. Yan. So health declaration form, Bureau of uh, Customs form, at arrival card. And kapag dumating na kayo sa Pilipinas after a very long flight, uh, just make sure you're wearing your mask uh, on your flight po. So number five, upon arrival, listen to the briefing conducted by the Philippine Coast Guard in the airport. Uh, ito po ay sa Naiya. Yan. Uh, gagawa po akong another video para po sa Clark as well as Cebu. Meron lang po silang a bit of specific instructions but similar din naman po. Now number six, undergo a temperature check. Submit the health declaration form upon the planning and proceed to the designated waiting area and then make sure that you fill out the project care slip that they will give to you. Now, number seven, sa mga C-based OFWs, wait for your turn to proceed to the verification booth. Now, make sure you present your QR code and then for land-based QOFWs, you can skip the step na ito na para lang ka safe error. Number eight, Clear with immigration and submit the arrival card. And number nine, proceed to your respective desk for your quarantine hotel assignment. So, makahiwalay po yung desk ng land-based at sea-based OFWs. So, land-based OFWs kasama ang inyong mga dependents, proceed to the OWA. Yan, desk. Present the same QR code from the ACIF that you have submitted and the OWA project care slip. For the C-based OFWs, kung may dependence man po kayong kasama, uh, proceed to the Maritime Industry Authority or yung tinatawag natin na Marina Desk. Number 10, claim your bag at the designated carousel and clear with customs check. And then exit at the terminal number 11 and wait for your shuttle or bus that will take you to your assigned hotel. Again, depende po sa layout ng naiya terminal kung saan kayo maglalanding. Meron naman po, uh, nakuha muna nila yung baggage yung designated, uh, sa designated carousel and they clear out with customs bago sila makapunta dun sa desk ng marina at ng uwa. So meron naman po uh, terminal 1. If I'm not mistaken, if there's nothing changed, ganun po on Terminal 1 when I arrived. Now, kung sakasakaling sa Terminal 3 kayo, ito yung sinasabi naman ito. Mauuna naman yung claiming your baggage. Ah, mauuna po muna pala you will go to OWA and at the same time sa Marina bago yung claiming your baggage. So, depende kung saan Terminal po kayo, uh, the detail. Yan. Now, at the quarantine hotel, what will you do? So, check in at your hotel and wait for the schedule of your test on the sixth day or day six. Now, make sure that uh, you are reminded that your scheduled test may be postponed the next day or at a later date for any unforeseen circumstances. So, uh, we just make sure that again, you get updated. Meron po doon coordinator. So, ang suggestion ko po, once you arrive, alamin nyo na po sino ang coordinator nyo na from OWA or from Marina in that hotel so that in case of any changes or any questions that you have, you know who is the person to talk to or to call. Yan, yung number then po, alamin nyo po. And then, uh, day one starts, sa uh, katulad ng sinabi ko po sa inyo, uh, on the day that you arrive in the Philippines, if you develop COVID-19 symptoms like dry cough, shortness of breath, loss of taste or smell, at any time before your scheduled test, please inform the hotel you are staying in so a medical or BOQ officer can assess and check up you immediately. So kung sakasakali, uh, day 6 pa talaga yung schedule na test, pero naramdaman nyo, man, so alam nyo, makatin ang throat nyo, you're not feeling well, maka may fever, or hindi na kayo nakakasmell or taste. So immediately inform the front desk po para at least ma-check up naman po kayo ng assigned physician na nandun po sa hotel. Yan. 
Um, isa rin po sinabi nila po, sakasakali hindi naman po kayo nagsalita. Pero from their observation or manifesting uh, the symptoms uh, ng COVID na nabanggit ko, maari pong ipatest na po nila kayo earlier. Yeah. Number 13, your accommodation and food during your stay will be shouldered by the Philippine government because you are all OFWs. Yeah, any or additional hotel fees due to required extensions will be shouldered by the governing agency. So kung sakasakali po na kailangan mag-extend, they will still cover that. Looking forward po negative result na para at least you don't need to stay. Yan. Going home. So if you test positive, the BOQ shall transfer you to a designated hospital for further medical management. If you are negative or when you test negative, ito po yung hinahop natin lahat, present your test a result together with your medical certificate to assign quarantine personnel at your hotel for three runs. For a hard copy of your certificate, printing services will be available at your hotel. So pwede po kayo magpaprint ito. Yeah. Pwede rin naman po yung e-copy just in case. I mean, yung pwede niyo po siyang e-save sa inyong phone. Now, to follow up on your test results, please contact OWA or your respective LMAs. So, yan po, maaari po kayo mag-follow up sa kanila. Alam ko, meron din po ang Red Cross na, uh, kumbaga, yung pinaka, uh, what do you call this? This app na you can also follow up. But then again, you can follow up with your OWA representatives and LMAs or local manning agency. Number 15, once you are cleared, you may contact your relatives to pick you up and bring you home. So, uwi, ano po? And then for Landis or FW News, we coordinate for OWA para sa OWA, uwi, ano, portal for further transportation needs after your final point of arrival. So, yan po. So, kung pa-uwi kayo sa province o probinsya, meron po silang provided na transportation. Anong schedule? Kailan kayo pupunta doon? So, from your hotel to uh, the airport na kung saan kayo uh, makaka-uwi from province na may provided na UWA transportation, uh, they will let you know. And then, CBS OFWs, then and then, you may uh, coordinate with your local manning agencies for further transportation needs after your final point of arrival. And number 16, please complete your 14-day quarantine or self-isolation under the monitoring of your LJ and Barangay uh, Health Emergency Response Team. Yun po. Now, again, uh, to be honest, hindi ko po alam kung sakasakali po, katulad ng nangyari sa mga kasamahan ko who went home to the province na, di ba, dapat ko kompletuhin mo na lang 14 days, di ba? Uh, nang halimbawa, kung 7th day, naka-uwi ka na, or 8th day, naka-uwi ka na, so may remaining ka na lang na a uh, few days for 14-day quarantine. Yung mga kasamahan ko po uh, sa probinsya na umuwi sila, pinakompleto na naman po sila na another 14 days. Wala naman pong sinasabi sa ngayon, wala pa ako nababalitaan kasi kaka-start pa lang po February 1. Pero just in case po, baka depende kung ano ang quarantine classification ng probinsya ninyo at gano'ng ka-strict ang inyong local uh, man in a, uh, local government unit or LGU, maaaring ipakumpleto na lang yung kulang na days ng 14 days ninyo or Again, ito po ay base, wala pong naka-report ito, walang official report ito o guideline from uh, kumaga Bureau of Immigration pero ito po yung na-experience ng mga kasamahan ko na OFWs din nang sabay-sabay kami umuwi at umuwi sila sa probinsya, negative test sila. Pinakumpleto ang another round ng 14 days sa kanila, sa kanilang probinsya. Again, depende sa quarantine status or classifications ng probinsya na uwi ninyo. So, get in touch sa inyong LJU representative or yung mga kamag-anak ninyo na nandun para ready din po kayo. And sa kanila naman, sinagot din ng government agency yung kanilang hotel stay. Yun nga lang po, mas humaba na naman po yung paghihintay bago makasama ang kanilang mga pamilya. But then again po, I know this is quite tasking uh, on your part, especially yung pag-uwi, medyo nakaka-stress, hindi po ba? What is important is keep yourself safe and healthy, take a lot of vitamins, supplements, ganun po yung ginawa ko para pag-uwi ko. Marami man po makasalaw mo sa airport, ganun sa airlines, di ba? Madalas hindi naman po social distancing gaano sa airline itself. Eh, depende sa airlines na masasakyan nyo, pwede may spasyo. Uh, before you or minsan katagi din eh. So, mas maganda internally you are strong so that at least pag uwi po ninyo ay alam nyo yun, protektado po ang inyong health when it comes to this uh, virus na talaga namang po sinalanta ang buong mundo. And make sure that you are wearing uh, what we call you 
facial mask and facial din po. So that at least you will be protected and part po yan mandatorily na kailangan suotin sa aeroplano pa lang. As per uh, the IATF, again, Memorandum of Health Protocol at pinatupad din po ng Department of Transportation. Anyway po, kung sakasakaling meron po ako mga bagay na hindi na i-discuss na nasa isipan ninyo at nais nang itanong, let me know po. Write it down on the comment box below and then I will answer it once na nabasa ko po yan. Maraming maraming salamat po. This is Global Trainer Jamie Ivins na kasabi na thank you for watching this video and God bless you. Stay safe and stay healthy. See you again on my next video. God bless you. If this video had helped you, please click like and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell for video updates. With that, everyone, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.